So by now you may have seen this clip from Jesse Waters' first night in Tucker Carlson's old primetime spot on Fox News. We have a very special guest on the line, a Democrat, my mom. Mom, hello how there, have you, Jesse. hello there, mom. <laughs> how have you um, enjoyed the show so far? I have enjoyed the show. I want to say congratulations, Honey Bun. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments, <laughs> you. and you've worked so hard. Now let's aim to have you keep your job. And <laughs> to that end, I do have some suggestions. Okay. Do not tumble into any conspiracy rabbit holes. <laughs> we do not want to lose you, and we want no lawsuits. Okay. In, okay? In yeah. keeping, I, I have a list here. His mother, who is a Democrat, called in to not only express her support for her son in his great career triumph, but also to offer some advice on how he can now keep his new job. In keeping okay. with the Hippocratic Oath, do no harm. We need you to be kind and respectful. Okay. You yourself mentioned that humble is a stretch, so I, I get that. <laughs> Use your voice responsibly to promote conversation that maintains a narrative thread. Taking a cue from those who have come and gone before him, she first advised Jesse to stay out of conspiracy rabbit holes, like the ones that got Fox News and Tucker Carlson himself sued several times for defamation. She also implored him to offer solutions rather than simply fanning the flames, and she invoked the Hippocratic Oath, reminding her son to do no harm. There, there really has been enough Biden bashing, and the laptop is old. <laughs> Perhaps you could suggest that your people take less interest, for example, in other people's bodies and talk about that. Well, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we're trying to keep other people's interest away from children's bodies. That was the point oh, of that right. segment. Mom, I, I, I love you. Wait, I was, wait, 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 okay. wait, wait. I, I knew this was a bad idea. I want you to seek solutions versus <laughs> fanning the flames. You okay. could encourage that Bedminster friend of yours, to return to his earlier career on television, everyone in his audience could wear a red hat, okay. and I'm sure the ratings would soar. She asked him to stop worrying about other people's bodies, which could be interpreted as a moment of solidarity with women or the transgender community, or maybe both. She told him that there's been enough Biden bashing and that the laptop is old news. And to that last point, Fox News actually mentioned the name Hunter Biden nearly 400 times in the past two weeks alone, averaging roughly 30 mentions in one day. And now Janine Pirro wants to know why Hunter Biden is always in her face. We shouldn't have to deal with him constantly in our face. But back to Jesse's mom, she told him to be kind and respectful and to use his voice responsibly to promote conversation that maintains a narrative thread. I think that's always good advice. You might not hit it every time, but you should at least strive to be better than you've been. To some of these points, specifically the point about other people's bodies, Waters pushed back a little bit, and he said he knew this whole phone call was a bad idea. As the Daily Beast pointed out, as far as being kind and respectful goes, Waters recently referred to homeless people as, quote, bags of flesh mutating on the sidewalk during a segment that compared the city of San Francisco to the currently war-torn nation of Ukraine. All that's left is rich tech titans working from home and just bags of flesh mutating on the sidewalk. So as far as Jessie's mother goes, she seems like a lovely lady. I'm not here to speak negatively about anyone's mama. She said she was so proud of her honey bun and she wished him all of the success in the world as most mothers would do. Was it a shtick? Maybe. Moms are good for ratings, I guess. Moms make people feel nice and warm and cozy. He was sure to introduce her as a Democrat, maybe as a way to prime his audience for whatever she might say. And she did say a few things that seemed to make him a little nervous, like when she told him to tell his friend to go back to television. The friend she was referring to, who she did not mention by name, was of course Donald Trump. But for as nice a lady as his mother seemed to be, a lot of the response to this video has been, I don't know, like confusion. Like, how did this woman, who seems to have a solid set of values and morals, raise this guy? And how does she continue to support him in his career so emphatically when his words and public persona are so antagonistic to those aforementioned values and morals? 
Look, relationships between family members are complicated, and it's not something that any of us can judge from a two-minute clip. I would imagine that most parents who have good relationships with their children would want their children to be successful in their careers. That's not hard to understand. According to Jesse, his parents invested quite a bit of money into his education to get him to where he is today. Maybe he and his mother have more meaningful conversations than the live phone call that we were all privy to, where they discuss the tangible impacts of his words and public persona. Maybe it's an ongoing conversation. It's understandable that a mother might not want to completely drop her kid because she doesn't agree with his lifestyle choices or because she doesn't like his friends. Now, all of that said, that's very much not the relationship that I have with my parents, so it's hard for me personally to relate. My parents are very supportive. They watch all of these videos, and I'm very aware of that. They're watching this right now. I'm actively thinking about what my parents will think of the things that I say in these videos because I don't want to disappoint them in the sense that I want to, at the very least, honor all of the pains they took and the lengths that they went to to raise me. And I know that if I say something that's a little off, I'll hear about it. I'll get put back in check pretty quickly. It's so important to have people like that in your life, regardless of what your career path is, because with anything, it's pretty easy to get caught up and to get a little distracted or derailed from who you are, what you represent, or where you are trying to go. Honestly, I'm glad that Jesse Waters has someone like his mom as an influence in his life. And it seems that despite their differences, he has a good relationship with his mom, and I mean this entirely unironically, I love that for him. I would never wish for anything less than that for anyone. People will only ever be better than they would otherwise be for having more love in their lives, and I really do believe that. So we will see who the real authority in Jesse Waters' life is, his mother who loves him, or the executives who pay his salary at Fox News. I think we can both assume which it will be, but here's hoping. All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like and subscribe to the channel and be sure to follow me on all the socials. Thanks.